Real-time effects. Real-time effects are a new feature in Audacity introduced in version 3.2.0. You can produce better or excellent sounding audio using real-time effects without knowing the details of audio editing. You will drag the necessary effects and your sound will improve instantly. To add real-time effects, click on the Effects tab on the Track Information panel. You can add real-time effects from the Add Effect button. Only third-party effects can be used as real-time effects. Audacity did not have good compatible plugins when it first introduced real-time effects. MuseFX has developed some plugins that are both useful and work well with Audacity. Before applying any of these effects, let me show you how to get these effects. Click on Get More Effects and you will be taken to the Audacity plugin page. You will get plugin-related updates on this page. You can see what types of third-party plugins are available to Audacity. MuseFX plugin suites have several plugins, and click on MuseFX. MuseFX is a collection of useful plugins that dramatically impact Audacity's real-time effect. These plugins are blended with Audacity very well. Before these plugins, real-time effects were not that useful in Audacity. Click on the MuseHub link. You have to install MuseHub Helper and choose the file for your OS. I already have installed MuseHub Helper and I will open it. You will get an icon for MuseHub and go to Effects. Remember, this is a helper that lets you download the effects. Click on Effects and you will see all the effects available. I already have installed many effects from here and those show a tick mark. You will see a Get button and click on Get to download the effect. I recommend you install all the effects you see here. After the effect gets downloaded, restart your Audacity. I hope you understand the process of how to get MuseHub effects. Back to Audacity, and let's make the audio better using real-time effects. I will duplicate the track for future comparison. As the real-time effects panel is already open, I have to click inside the track where I want to add real-time effects. I will add real-time effects on the top track. There are a couple of effects that make the sound better. The first one is Compress. Compress will reduce the gap between the louder and quieter sounds. MuseFX Compress also makes the sound louder after compressing. The Compress effect is added, and clicking on it will open the configuration pop-up. Real-time configurations are easy to configure. You will listen to the audio using different presets and decide which one sounds best. You can see a list of Compress presets here. You can adjust the knob to set how much of the effect you want. If you feel the effect is doing too much, you decrease the knob. If the effect needs to do more, you increase the knob. You can go back to the defaults from the factory preset. I will play this audio with compress effect and try out different presets. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity and when you are used to this software, you can move to a more complex software. For Mac, you, have, for Mac, you also have the option of GarageBand and if you think about some... I think the Pop Vocals preset is working best for this voice recording. I will add another effect. Closing the pop-up does not mean the effect is disabled. The effect is active if the blue icon appears before the effect name. I will add an EQ to make the sound crispier. MuseFX has two types of EQ, Pro EQ and Simple EQ. Pro EQ offers a bit of flexibility but also requires some understanding of frequencies. I will add Simple EQ for now. Like the compress effect, Simple EQ has some presets. I will listen to the audio with both effects. I can switch off and on any effect using this switch button. Let's play and toggle between EQ on and off. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity and when you I feel it sounded better when EQ was on. I had only used the presence preset, which is good for voiceover but I suggest you explore and listen to which sounds best to you. You can change an effect. For example, I want to use Pro EQ instead of Simple EQ. Pro EQ has a bit more knobs than Simple EQ. You can adjust those knobs to adjust a particular frequency range. Let's listen with Pro EQ. 
audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording though there are a couple of other softwares which is free but audacity is the easiest one to use you can practice your audio recording and editing in audacity and when you are used to this software you can move to i feel it sounded best with pop vocals with pro eq the sound has become quite better but the noise has also increased Muse FX does not have a good noise reduction effect at the moment. I hope they will develop one in the near future. Muse FX has a noise gate, but noise gating with strong hissing noise makes the listening experience worse. The noise gate removes noise from quiet parts but comes back suddenly in the spoken parts. Let's listen with the noise gate on, and you will understand the issue. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity and when you are used to this software, you can move to a more complex software. For Mac, you, have, for Mac, you also have the option of GarageBand and if you think... If you heard through the headphone, you might find this on and off hissing noise distracting. For noise reduction, I would suggest the built-in noise reduction effect until Muse FX develops something. I will disable the noise gate. I can remove this effect from no effect. I will add a reverb effect which can be used for two purposes. Either it can add a different type of effect on the sound, or it can take care of some room reflections. For example, the vocal booth can minimize room sound reflections. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity and when you are used to this. Not a big difference, but it removed some of the sound reflections in the room. You can add the same effect multiple times. As I said earlier, reverb could also add a different kinds of sound effects. I will add some sound effects from this reverb effect. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity and when you are used to this software, you can move to a more complex software. For I hope you understand how to get sound effects using reverb. I will remove the second reverb as my intention is to make the sound better only. At this point, you may be wondering about the waveforms. The bottom track is the original recording, and no effects have been added to it. The top track has three real-time effects applied. But both waveforms look similar. Real-time effects in Audacity do not show the change in the waveform immediately. If I export the track with real-time effects, I will see the changes in waveform. I am exporting this track and will show you what I mean. This is the exported track, and if I drag it into Audacity, you will see the change in the waveform. If I play the tracks, you will see the first and third tracks are the same. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity and when you are used to this software. It is possible to see the waveform change without exporting, but it has another consequence. Click the track with real-time effects and go to the tracks menu. Mix and mix and render. You see both the first and third waveforms are the same. Though we can see the change in the waveform, the real-time effects stack no longer appears here. If we want to change the effects we already added, we will not be able to do that. So I will undo the mixing and want to see which effects have been added. During the export I get the sound I am hearing now, so I feel no necessity to mix and render real-time effects in the track. You can rearrange these effects stack. Though I do not hear any difference in rearranging in this way, Audacity may have plans for the future. If you have installed any third-party effects and do not see them in the effects list, check if that is enabled. Go to Plugin Manager from Effect. You can find all the plugins here, both enabled and disabled. These plugins include all the built in effects from Audacity and any third party effects. You can enable or disable any plugin. Select the plugin, and you will see an Enable and a Disable button. 
You can also filter down disabled effects. I have most of my effects enabled. I do not have any disabled effects currently. NewsFX effects will be enabled automatically once you download the effect and restart Audacity properly. Besides NewsFX effects, other third-party plugins can be found on the plugins page. You can check if any third-party plugin is available for your need. Usually these plugins are easy to use than built-in effects. You will need a basic understanding of audio editing to use Audacity built-in effects. With third-party plugins, you can dial some knobs and check how the sound changes. Not every third-party plugin gets into Audacity automatically. You can check the installation process for your OS. NewsFX plugins are easy to install and use. I suggest you spend some time learning how to use NewsFX effects.